Hello again, everybody. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. As always, I really appreciate the support. Today, as promised, we're going to take a look at the Kenner Retro Phantom Menace figure line, but we're going to do it a little differently. This is not a review. Like I said in part one, where I viewed Queen Amidala in the Battle Droid, if you want to see a review, there's many, many other channels that do that. Today, we're going to take a look at how these figures fit in with not only other retro figures, but also Phantom Menace figures from the past, from all the way back to the 99 episode one Phantom Menace line to some other figures a little bit more current, but also some elements, some figures, vehicles, and maybe even a, an element or two. So starting off, here is the Jar Jar Binks along with uh, my favorite astromech droid of all time, the, the uh, R2-D2 with the sensor scope. They're both on figure stands, but you can tell that Jar Jar is nice and tall and he relates very well to that. But let's bring in another figure uh, who pairs well, I think, with this, and that would be Gregra from way back when. Everybody remembers the scene where he's trying to eat the uh, the little fellas there. And uh, Gregra is a very cool figure, but it, Jar Jar and Gregra look really well together. There's enough detailing on Gregra to make it a modern figure, but I think it scales really nicely with the retro Jar Jar. So if you were to make a little diorama here like that, you know, and then maybe R2 and then, and then Jar Jar's confronting, you know, it really kind of looks cool. And then if you were to bring in, say, another figure such as R2, uh, 3PO, you know, you really get a sense of how, you know, these figures do work well together. Definitely, I, I think anyways. And then let's bring in one more just for the sake of it. And that would be Watto. And I think you're starting to see that these older 99 figures are somewhere between vintage, retro, and modern. So that looks pretty neat. Jar Jar is really scaled beautifully with these figures. And then let's bring in an element uh, from, well, I guess you could call it a figure, but it's really more of an element. And that is, I'm gonna put this uh, shot glass here for obvious reasons in a moment. And I'm gonna add the uh, scrap droid to it. This is how I like to display them like that. And please forgive the shot glass, but you can see how, you know, Jar Jar is still taller than that, even on the shot glass. But, you know, there are some really cool things that you can do with these retro figures. And some of the figures you might already have had in a box for a long time. I think that they relate pretty well to each other. You know, so again, we'll put in Jar Jar. We'll take away this. We'll put him in the background. You can kind of get a sense of what we're talking about here. So Jar Jar, Gregra, Vintage R2, the... Uh, Scrapper Droid and Watto, you know, it's hard to tell what's a vintage retro, what's a modern figure. I think they all work really well. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of perspective and a couple of ideas on how they can relate to things you already have in your collection. So thanks again. Stay tuned for the next one. We're going to break down Darth Maul. Okay, thanks.